Sapingo says over here and today I'm gonna show you how to install the Wicked ROM for the T-Mobile Galaxy S4 it's very easy and I'll go step by step again this is to install the Wicked ROM for the T-Mobile Galaxy S4 and I am currently running uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.1 so the first thing we need to do is actually go ahead to the computer and find the ROM I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, and you're gonna get he head over to XDA Developers again, uh, and I'll post the link on the description for the T-Mobile version. It will be the first step. I'll divide it. I divide all the steps into step one, step two, step three, so it's easier for you, so you don't get lost if you this is the first time you're doing this. And another thing you need to be to do to your S4 is to be rooted. And you can find that online, it's very easy as well. So I just go to forums, scroll down to T Mobile Galaxy S4, and go under T Mobile Galaxy S4 Android Development. Then you're gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of this advertisement by Samsung, of course. Trying to make some money. And then you're gonna go ahead and find the room that you're looking for. We're looking for the Wicked version 3.2.2. You're gonna go ahead and click there. And as you can see, right here, I'm already downloading it. Uh, it takes around an hour. I guess they control the speed or something like that. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and scroll down, and you're gonna click the download here. I mean, you can't get lost. Then. I don't know if you have to install the version 1 and the version 2, but I'm just going to go ahead and download version 3 uh, directly, and we'll see if that works. If not, then you got to install version 1 and then version 2 and then the version 3, depending on the updates. And the good thing about this ROM is that um, it gets rid of all the bloatware that the Samsung Galaxy S4 brings, like the watch on and all the Samsung apps that I never use. But it, you do get to keep the smart stay and uh, you know the smart watch, smart pause, things like that. But if you want to add the Samsung things, uh, like the bloatware, you can actually, there's two add ons and like the S Memo, F Health, the Watch On, the Voice Services, you can add that. Or there's a second patch that you can add all of the other Samsung services that they bring, like the Samsung Games Hub. But for now, since you want to debloat this phone and get rid of some space that it's taking over the original ROM, you go ahead and just download the version 3. And we'll see if you have to actually download version 1 or 2. I'll tell you guys later. So I'll be right back. The file just finished downloading. So what you're going to do is go to computer, open up your SD card uh, on the phone. I already connected it. I'll show you. There you go. And then you're gonna find where you downloaded uh, the Wicked ROM. In my case, sorry, that's homework. Uh, in my case, it'll be downloads. Alright. Now I'm gonna show in Finder. And then I'm gonna just put it on the SD card on the phone. Very easy. All you gotta do is just drag it like that. And it's 0.98 gigabytes. And you can see it's uh, deep loaded for real. Because the Samsung uh, stock ROM is about 1.6, 1.5 gigabytes. So you can see there's there's a little bit of uh, deep loading with the weaker ROM. It's going to take around 4 minutes. It's not that bad. So when that's done, I'll show you the next step. Which is actually uh, rebooting into recovery and flashing this ROM alright be right back ok guys I already put the ROM in the SD card external X SD card so it's very important you put it on the SD card and now what we're gonna do is reboot into recovery mode and actually install and delete a Cyanogen mod 10.1 and I'll show you how to do everything so Wicked installs and runs properly. So what we're gonna do is, if you don't have Google Manager, go get it in the Play Store. 
There you go, boom, and you're, and you're gonna reboot recovery. That's the easiest way into get, getting into recovery mode, because if not, you have to press down power, and I believe the power down button or the 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 volume up button. I don't know. I don't know which one. So just get good manager, and that'll be the easiest way into getting into um, recovery. There you go, Tim Win. And then we're gonna go ahead and select wipe then we're gonna go ahead and select advanced wipe and you're gonna select uh, Dalvi cache system data and cache don't select micro SD card please because you will delete the wicked ROM on your external SD card so you're gonna go ahead and wipe so at this moment what we're doing is that we're deleting the existing current ROM that we have on the Galaxy S4 so do not power off and power on your device because it will just go in a boot loop and it won't do anything so you wanna go back back and then you're gonna go ahead and click install and you're gonna click uh, the Wicked ROM version 3 which you just download it and that's it Let's see if it goes through. If now we're gonna go ahead and install Cyanogen on 10.1 again, but it should be fine. And it says a mounting system. So as you can see, it's gonna take a couple minutes. I'm just gonna leave it here and probably fast forward this part so you guys can see the process that it takes um, so there you go the ROM finally finished uh, uh, getting into the phone we flashed it correctly and we're about to check if everything we did is right so let's go ahead and reboot the system and we shouldn't see the Cyanogen Mark 10.1 logo. We should see a wicker uh, logo or something like that. So let's see. The initial startup when you install a ROM it takes a little bit of time. So there we go. The wicker ROM. Oh, that's really nice. It's very evil and shit. Okay, I'm feeling it. Like I said, it's going to take a little while because you got to let it set in and start for the first time. But it's like a skeleton type of thing. Or so. There we go. Oh, I'm in liking this. So we got to go ahead and click next. You know, the usual Samsung setup for the phone. Uh, next. Uh, Wi-Fi, okay, scan, Wi-Fi on, skip, okay, let me put my password, okay, we got the password going on, connect, mm -hmm. I hate Wi-Fi calling from T-Mobile, but don't okay. care. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit next, and you can already see that the uh, smart stay and the the phone's watching you, so that uh, option right there is still there. So let's go ahead and click skip. Get into my Google account. One more second. We're almost done, guys. I just want to show you how the ROM looks after the setup and that it is in fact run, running and working properly because I don't want you to install something that is not uh, working properly. So, right now it says signing in. I'm going to click that. And I can't change the brightness at the moment. So, just bear, bear with the screen.
This is restoring. Oh, we're almost done. Since I have 12% battery, wow. That's what happens when you have Cyanogen Mod 10. <laughs> it's not very good on battery. So we're going to go ahead and actually turn everything off. Because I don't use it. Uh, adapt display, we're going to leave it on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and change change the name of the device. Just put a capital B. Okay. Click finish. And ta-da! We have the latest and greatest wicked rum available. What happened to the transparent? Yes, it is transparent as you can see. It's very nice. And I like this white with black going on because I hate the green on the Android. So that's a really nice touch. It has that, that. Oh, this thing is it's fast. Let me change the brightness really quick so you guys can see it. No, it's a maximum sorry so it says I have some updates let's go to the settings uh, about device as you can see it's the T-Mobile version is running MDL the latest version out there and as uh, you can see build number it's wicked version number three so I just activated developer mode and everything is looking good. Lock screen. Oh, and it comes with some nice wallpapers. I like that as well. And as you can see, look. It's very responsive. We can change that, but I'm just going to leave it like that. But this thing is very responsive. So I'm just going to go ahead and install my things. That's it, guys. You saw it worked. Um, and I'm going to probably install other ROMs later on. So just keep coming back. And I'll probably have another run by next week because I get bored of them very easily. So thank you for watching and have a good day. If you have any questions, troubles, I'll try to answer you as fast as I can. But your best friend will be XDA developers on the Section 14 mobile. And go to directly to the thread uh, for Wicked Rum. That will be the best help. Bye.